I was a brand new poet. This was probably a decade ago. And I was so unsure and new. I didn't know anybody, but I'm in this room and Louise Bernice Half is facilitating a workshop. At this festival, many of us were talking about, you know, the idea of spoken word and sharing trauma and telling our stories to be heard. And in comes Louise and she says to us, listen, you can come up here and share your stories and share your traumas, but if you go back home or back to a situation where that hasn't changed, then you're just reliving the trauma. There's no healing, you're just re-triggering yourself there and here, so to really find healing, you have to go and change the system, change the catalyst, and then move through the story. I still quote that story when I teach today, 10 years later, and probably for another 100 years if I'm around, but it was really a powerful moment to hear such a learned voice, an experienced voice, speaking to young voices, new voices. Um, because it doesn't matter how old you are, this is a lesson that we can learn whenever we learn it. Some people with theatrical, theatrical training, because they go into the trauma, right? But they have to learn to come out of that trauma because otherwise you could stay in there and it would really destroy you. Um, but it's like this, and this is what I tell people. If you have a really bad cut on your arm and it's get, it gets festered and you don't look after it, um, that fester's gonna stay with you all your life and you'll be scarred and you'll pick off the scars. And so it's a psychic trauma, and I've been, you know, I've had a lot of psychic drama from my growing up years when I was at home, at home and all from, from residential school. I've had to eradicate it by going into therapy. We need to uh, validate that experience. We need to be listened to, to be witness, and we need to get it out of our gut. Because otherwise you can't write it in a healthy way without uh, um, perhaps traumatizing somebody else. I know that I've been told, aren't you responsible for opening up people's trauma? And I said, no, I'm not. I will lead them and I will ask them to go into therapy to find somebody that they can share that with because when I leave here, I'm not going to be available. Um, uh, it's so important to have somebody witness and, and witness your, your, your pain and to guide you and to mentor you on how to repair your soul. Uh, like it's, my husband and I went to uh, two movies in Calgary. We hitchhiked into Calgary. We were living in the mountains. And we went and see Jesus Christ Superstar. Oh, you know, it was so great. Back to back, we went and saw The Exorcist. Okay, back to back. We were like this, walking home after the exorcist, even though Jesus Christ, a superstar, had just filled us with life, and all of a sudden we were attacked by our, our psychic demons. And it was really interesting to shove that energy aside and not take it, take it with us, you know? So we need to develop these psychic boundaries as well.